Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to make some beef stew and this is my mom's beef stew recipe. She used to make this pretty often when I was a kid and I always liked it. She mainly made it during the winter months when it was cold and I always liked it. Uh, she just recently gave me this recipe and I tried it a couple weeks ago and it tasted even better than I remembered. So today I'm going to show you how she makes it. Uh, we've got the crock pot out here. Uh, we're going to layer our ingredients like this is how mom does it I got uh, three carrots I sliced up it goes on the bottom uh, next I've got three medium sized potatoes these are Yukon gold potatoes uh, you can use whatever potatoes you like uh, next we got two ribs of celery and I got one medium-sized onion diced up that goes on next let's see uh, garlic calls for one clove of garlic I don't have any fresh garlic so I'm going to use some of this garlic out of the jar it'll be fine I'm going to use about I'm going to call that a heaping teaspoon because I like garlic okay uh, need a little bit of salt and pepper um, I'm not going to salt it too heavily. I can always add more salt later. Uh, that's maybe a teaspoon. Who knows? Pepper. However much you want. And that'll be enough for now. I can always add more of that later too. Uh, Worcestershire sauce. Need about a tablespoon of that. I'm not going to measure it. I like Worcestershire, so I might add just a little bit more. Uh, next thing, right here in my batter pro device, you see that I've got uh, two pounds of stew meat that I've lightly seasoned with salt and pepper tossed it in some, uh, coated it with some uh, all-purpose flour. And that goes on top. All right. We got one more thing to add. This is one 12 ounce can of V8 juice. We pour it right over the top. And we're done. Let's stick the lid on it, turn it on high. And I'm, I'm gonna let this go for about two hours and I'll be back to check on it then. Okay, we're back. Our stew has been cooking in the crock pot on high for about two hours. I haven't touched it. This is what it looks like. Uh, you remember we layered all those ingredients. Now it's time to give it a stir. I'm going to stir it up, let everything mingle. It's, it really smells good. It's My house is really smelling good right now. But. Uh, And I'm going to try to stab one of these carrots with the fork and it's, oh, it's, yeah, we got a ways to go. It's not done yet. I am going to go ahead and taste our little broth or gravy, whatever you want to call it. See if it needs any seasoning. Hmm. Tastes pretty good. I think, it, I think we need just a touch more salt. I'm going to end that right now. 
maybe a little more pepper. And I'm going to give that a stir again and let it continue to cook on high. It's probably going to take a couple more hours. I'm going to stir it every 30 minutes until it's done. And I'll be back you back with you uh, when it's done. I'll tell you how long it took. Okay, we're back. It's been about four, a little over four hours. And our beef stew is done. Uh, I just tasted a, a carrot and a potato and they're getting nice and tender. And that's, that's pretty much when you know uh, stew is done. It's a, uh, it smells really good. We got a nice little gravy going. I'm just gonna turn off the crock pot, put the lid back on, and let it rest for uh, 20 30 minutes. And uh, I'll be back to give it a taste. All right, our stew is done. I uh, toasted up some French bread to go with it with a little bit of butter and garlic powder threw it under the broiler. Uh, that's usually how I serve it with just a piece of crusty bread. Let's give this a taste. See what it tastes like. Uh, I'm gonna get a carrot in there. Some of the beef and some potato. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. That's really good. And like I said, this is something my mom made when I was a kid. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, I like peas in my uh, beef stew, or I like uh, to add oregano to my stew. Do what you want. You know, add what you like to it. This is how my mom made it, so I'm staying true to her recipe. And I always liked it since I was a kid, and I still like it. So, anyhow, give it a try. Um, I hope you do, and I hope you like it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.